Are you sick and tired of buying those cases of Gatorade to give your family electrolytes and not only having to suffer through the pain of actually drinking those things, but to having to take the time to hold one bottle aside to use as a spittoon? Snuff cup. Has your wife tried to include you in her obsessive online shopping? Hey babe. We've got ten to thirty dollars left on our car before huh? it maxes out. Do you need anything online? No. Snuff cup. Or maybe you are that guy that likes to waste your money. And not only do that, but advertise that you waste your money. Well, you're in luck, because not only does this guy have this useless snuff cup, but he sells hats with it too. And by this guy, I mean Matt. And by the useless product, I mean snuff cup. Snuff cup. Ah, inventions. Since the dawn of man, we've always found need to replace something that already exists. And that, folks, was just the spark behind this idea to invent Snuff Cup. This, folks, dates as far back as cavemen. You have a caveman sitting in the cave. He's got a rock tied to a stick, using it as a hammer. Well, another caveman comes along and shows him, hey, I've got a stick tied to a rock you can use as a hammer. Snuff cup. It was revolutionary, to say the least. And today's modern man, Mr. Matt, seen a similar need for a new adventure. Meet Matt from Alta, Missouri. After seeing the vital need and the void among his fellow tobacco chewers, you know, hashtag blue collar, hashtag worker, hashtag work, hashtag country guy, hashtag hillbilly. He noticed something missing among all those people chewing and spitting and dipping. He noticed a void, folks. That void being a plastic bottle to spit in. And he took action, didn't waste any time. This is just a man who was tired of seeing his buddies suffering from lower back pain, you know, reaching into their truck floorboards to grab that empty Gatorade bottle to spit in. <laughs> he said no more, no more. Snuff cup. So after years of spitting in a Mountain Dew bottle and sometimes the forbidden coffee tumbler cup, that you have to then turn around and pour out of that coffee cup into a Mountain Dew bottle. <laughs> Snuff cup. Somehow this idea came to him. We have no idea, but how did that one guy come up with the light bulb? Or the other guy with the telephone? Or the automobile folks? We don't know, it's not important. What is important is somehow this man, out of virtually thin air, while using his coffee tumbler cup and a Mountain Dew bottle, thought of this wonderful invention. Snuff cup. But Matt, from Alton, Missouri, done the impossible, defied all odds. Now I know what you're thinking. Why can't a guy just spit in a Mountain Dew bottle and save money and possibly, you know, the planet and all that other useless stuff? No, unacceptable. Wipe that out of your, what do you, what, who's, who taught you to think? I mean, you can just simply rinse out a Mountain Dew bottle and reuse it again, right? Wrong. Everybody knows that. Mountain Dew bottles are hydrophobic for one. If you rinse them, they'll dissolve in water. Uh, it, they only hold Mountain Dew, that's it. For number two, Mountain Dew bottles are just that cheap plastic, you know. These things are made from... It's a super durable polypropylene plastic is what it is. Like I said, 
Most Mountain Dew bottles and other soft drink bottles are hydrophobic. Not Matt's Snuff Cup. You can either rinse his cartridges out or you can just throw them away. Never use them again. No mess. You don't ever have to worry about it. Mess free, thanks to Matt. And you can throw those away and never use them again mess free, thanks to Matt's revolutionary design of a bottle cap. And use the cap that we provide. It screws on top of it. Revolutionary. Folks, the American dream is alive as ever and thriving, right? You can virtually make something completely useless and unneeded. In fact, does more harm than good. Of course, I'm not talking about Matt's snuff cup, but I'm just saying the American dream is well and alive. And the same genius that was able to come up with such a fantastic product also is a genius at advertising. You think, well, did he do commercials? Did he did he do Facebook? Did he do... Uh, no, no, instant no. This genius makes comedy skits while wearing, you know, snuff cup hats and shirts and whatnot. Kind of subliminally put it in there. You know, what do you do when you see a very hilarious video? Well, you laugh. Hey, Matt. Yeah, what's up? I'm gonna head on down the road to the next job. You should be able to finish the rest of this, right? Yeah, I'll fill this hole in. Where are them other guys at? I don't know where the other guys are at. I haven't seen them in a few minutes. Well, when they show back up, have them meet me down there so we can go get started on this next job, okay? Okay. What do you do when you see his videos? You kind of wonder what's going on. You start looking for clues because the brain thinks, I should be able to figure out what this is, right? Fill that hole in and meet me on down there, all right? And then when you're looking for clues, you notice his hat, you notice his shirt. You know what? What's the snuff cup thing? I mean, I think he's trying to be funny, but it ain't funny. So I want to do some research, figure out what's going on here. I say, Matt, listen, if you're watching this, cut the middleman out. Right? That's what I'm going to start doing. I'm just going to do some funny comedy skits like you do for the blue collar, the worker, the work, the country man, the spitter. I don't know if I want to put that hashtag in there or not. But yeah, and just put your cash app. I'm going to have some hats made up. You know, just put my cash app on there. Why the middleman? Why make something to spit in? We just send me the money. Right? Now I know what you're thinking. Man, that's harsh, gotcha, man. His videos can't be that unfunny. Well, let's watch one together. Hey, Matt. Yeah, what's up? I'm gonna head on down the road to the next job. You should be able to finish the rest of this, right? Yeah, I'll fill this hole in. Where are them other guys at? I don't know where the other guys are at. I haven't seen them in a few minutes. Well, when they show back up, have them meet me down there so we can go get started on this next job, okay? Okay. Fill that hole in and meet me on down there, all right? All right. Hey. That was a close call. Where have you been? <laughs> I seen the boss talking to you, and uh, I can tell you right now. I am not going to start another job. Look, it's a little chilly outside, okay? We need to warm up a little bit. Here, you can shovel all you want. There's a possibility of rain today, too. Did you just say rain? Oh, we're gonna have to take it slow, I agree. Has anybody got a good hiding spot? Dude, I got the perfect hiding spot. Huh? You get it? You don't go to the next job and start the next job. Hashtag blue collar. They get it, right? Hold on, here's another one. Completely different video. Maybe this one will make more sense to you. Hey, what time is it? It's about time to wrap it up for the week. Looks like we got another hour left. Man, I got a lot of stuff to get done this weekend. I wouldn't mind getting out of here an hour early. Same. I'm going out of town this weekend. Well, look who decides to show up. I wonder what he's been doing all day. Definitely not working. You think we should look like we're busy? 
Nah. Yeah. It's not like we haven't busted our tails all week from start to finish. I wonder what he's gonna say. Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? Gentlemen. Are y'all ready for a little overtime? Huh? Snuff Cup! This is America, baby. Casey Neistat tried to tell us at one point, no, there's no future in making a YouTube channel anymore. There's no future in it. I say the future's well alive, right? Because that video I just showed you, 3.4 million views. I know, I thought the same thing. And I know, you know, some people think conspiracy theorists are, well, maybe he bought those views. Well, that would just be as dumb as buying a plastic container to spit in when you got a Mountain Dew bottle already, right? Use your brain, folks. Hey, what are you doing? What? Huh? What are you doing over there, boy? I'm making a funny video. What are you doing? Me? I'm, I'm making a funny video too. You didn't say anything? Blue, yeah, blue collar shit. Blue collar shit. Yeah. It's, it's blue collar shit. Them blue collar fellas think this shit's funny. That's all we do over here. You see, did you see the hat I was wearing? Did you notice it? My cash is right here, folks. Huh. Look who it is pouring in over here. Look who what now? Oh. Oh boy. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm making a funny video. What are you doing? Making a funny video. Same shit, same shit. Yep, yeah, you take the word. Oh, I'll make a funny video. I'm the boss in this one. Blue collar folks understand it. Some blue collar stuff. That's what I figured. Alright, alright, alright.